Hello everybody, it's Shannon Rose, and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you 10 things I wish I knew before I started a YouTube channel. This first one might be shocking, but I would have wish I knew that I would have been stalked, hated, canceled, and just had a lot of negativity thrown my way. I knew that not everyone was gonna like me, but I wasn't really prepared for how much hate that I was going to get and how that could really affect my mental health. I kind of just wish I was a little bit more prepared for it. That is one of the many reasons why I created my How to Become an Influencer course because there's a lot of courses out there that teach you how to make social media your job and how to turn your passion into a profit. But those courses, I know because I've taken them myself to do like research, they don't teach you a lot of things that are really important that I think that you need to know and be prepared for going into being on social media because even if you don't become like social media famous like you're still gonna have to deal with trolls and negativity and just hate in general I mean like even if you don't do social media for a job I feel like people deal with that you know on social media getting bullied and just trolls and mean comments and a lot of people just are we ever we were not taught how to properly deal with that or how to be prepared for it that was that's one thing I wish that I would have known and been prepared for that's one of the things I think is important there's that and then how to create your personal brand if by the way if little shout out plug to myself but I created a whole social media course on if you have ever wanted to make more money and you're just not happy at the job that you're at now and you want to take something that you love doing and turn it into your full-time job I teach you how to use social media to do that uh, how to work with brands how to collab with other influencers and get them to actually say yes to you um, I teach you how to create a personal brand I teach you how to film videos I teach you how to come up with the content that's actually entertaining that people want to watch and how to get people to follow you how to edit your videos I mean I we literally cover everything you need to know to make this your full-time job. Everything that I've learned over the past 10 years of making this my full-time job and being successful at it, I teach you everything you need to know. Um, if I could do this, anybody can. And you just have to have the tools and know how to do it. I think having a mentor and a course that teaches you everything really will fast track you to becoming successful and having this as your full-time job way faster. Created a course, I'll link it down below, but that's one thing that I, th I wish I would have known when first creating a YouTube channel was how to prepare myself to deal with that. The second thing I wish I would have known before starting a YouTube channel is that the content that you create and put out online is going to attract a certain type of audience. You might not want that audience. It's really smart to kind of have a plan and be strategic and not just like post to post stuff when you start posting. And that again is something I teach in my course is like how to know what you want before you you just like jump into this. I think it's important to have a plan, a goal, um, write out your goal of like, why do you want to have social media to begin with? You know, it might be for you that you want to make more money and you want to have time freedom and you want to be able to travel and work whenever you want and you actually want to do something that you like to do. I mean, there's so many reasons of like why, but I would write out what is your goal and what are your whys because there's going to be a point in time where you're like going to get burnt out and you're going to be like, man, this is just really freaking hard. I'm working so hard and taking all this time to create this awesome content and these cool videos and it's taking forever to edit and like literally no one's watching. You really have to go back and remember why you're doing it to begin with. I, I also think it's important to pick something that you're going to want to film that you would do for free because you're going to be doing it for free for a long time until you actually start making money. And if you're only in this to make money, it's just not going to be sustainable. You're going to end up failing. It's not going to work out for you. I really think it's important to have a goal and a why and remember like when you're creating this content and when you're putting it out, you're going to attract a certain type of audience and you want that audience to be people that are gonna like you for the most part and if you just make a bunch of drama videos uh, you're gonna have a lot of negativity and I know from personal experience because back in the day I was posting not like I wouldn't say like I wasn't I'm not a drama channel obviously I was a story time channel but my videos were really crazy and attracted a certain type of audience sometimes I would post videos about the drama I was dealing with and when you do that you attract you know what you put out you attract 
So just keep that in mind when posting. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I wish I was a little bit more strategic about what I posted when I was posting instead of just thinking about getting followers because if that's all you care about, you might attract the wrong audience. Be smart when doing that because it's not all about followers. You can still make a lot of money on social media with not a lot of followers. I also wish I had someone to tell me to not try so hard to please everybody and make everybody happy because that's impossible. It's never gonna happen. You could try to please everyone it's just it's not gonna work so just be authentic be true to yourself speak your mind and what you believe in because like I said uh, like attracts like so whatever you put out and you're talking about you're gonna attract like-minded people to you and I would just say try to not make everyone happy because it's just it's not gonna work I wish somebody would have told me that because it also will affect your content right and it's not gonna be true to you because you're you're trying to please too many people so I would say you know just be true to you speak your mind and the people that are gonna love you are gonna love you and the people that aren't aren't so just be your authentic self. I also wish that I had somebody to tell me that I needed to put my mental health first and that it's okay to take breaks. When you're on social media, there's like this grind and grit and hustle that like you have to post every day and if you don't, people are gonna forget you exist. That if you really need a break, like you kind of have to power through it. And for the first year of me posting on social media, I posted every day for a year and I didn't know really about batch filming. So I was just like working so hard and there were times where like my mental health was really on a decline and I should have given myself a break, um, but I just felt like I couldn't. And so I wish that someone would have said like, Shannon, it's okay, you can take a break. Your mental health needs to come first. The people that love you and follow you and support you are gonna be there when you get back. All right, this is a big one. I really wish that someone would have told me that I need to not be so trustworthy and that not everybody that's my friend is actually my friend and has my best intentions. I, especially being on social media and then building up a bit of a following, um, I, had a lot of people that reach out or um, were my friend for the wrong reasons and then were very like jealous or uh, you know had just not good intentions and tried to like ruin and sabotage my career because of their jealousy I don't know if you guys have been following me for a while but there was a whole situation with like somebody stealing from my wedding and it's just there was a lot of things and people that became my friend because I had a lot of followers online and that was the only reason and kind of took advantage of me or just, like I said, just didn't have my best intentions. And so what I wish I would have known was to be a lot more protective with me as a person and a human being because not everybody is a good person. And so, yeah, I would have told myself don't trust everyone. All right, this is a big one. Invest your money. When you start making money on social media, I would invest it. Start saving as much as you can and invest that money because if you start getting I wouldn't say like famous online, but you start making money on social media, you could lose it all in one day. And if you get canceled or whatever, and then all of a sudden you lose all your followers that you are used to, and you're used to getting brand deals and all this money, and then all of a sudden it disappears, you're gonna wish that you saved your money and invested it in in something. Um, I would suggest suggesting in real estate, but that's just me. Definitely save and invest your money because you never know when it could be all gone. And then my last piece of advice that I wish that someone would have told me was to find a mentor. Now, this is something that I think a lot of people don't realize, but like the most successful people in the world all have mentors. They all have coaches or somebody that they pay to teach them um, how to do what it is that they do. And Oprah Winfrey, Tony Robbins, like all these very successful people, they all have coaches and mentors. I wish that I would have had a YouTube mentor um, because I feel like it would have, one, just like saved me a lot of time and heartache and money that I lost because I could have learned a lot. So I feel like, can you learn it on your own? Yeah, I did. I didn't like pay for a coach or a mentor because they didn't really have that back then 10 years ago when I started YouTube. Now there's a ton of people online that claim to be like coaches and gurus. Um, but you really need to be careful because not all of them are qualified to be teaching social media. So find somebody that has 
what you want and then hire them to teach you and fast track you because basically what that's going to do is you're going to pay a certain amount of money to learn all the things that you need to learn in a short period of time to basically get you where you want to be way faster so instead of it taking you 10 years right usually it takes 10 years for someone to become super successful at something things do not happen overnight you don't just like go viral for a video and then all of a sudden you're have a million followers and tons of brand deals like it's just not how it works those people have been working for years and years behind the scenes that you just didn't see and so when you hire a coach or a mentor like i said you fast track so instead of it taking 10 years maybe it takes you one year or six months shout out to my course if you want to learn if this is something that's interesting to you and you want to make this your full-time job and you're actually serious then like i said check out my course i'm gonna link it below if you have any other questions feel Feel free to let me know. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.